Hey guys, this is Eddie Madden Hack with Make Digital Art, and today I'm going to show you how to create a perspective grid in Krita. So first, we're going to create our document, and I'm going to show you two ways to create the grid. First, using one vanishing point, and then using two vanishing points. Make sure to like the video if it helps you out. Thanks. So first thing you're going to want to do is just head over here on the left side. This tool right here, if you hover over it, it's the assistant tool. Click that. And then what you're going to want to do back here on the right side and under tool options, you're going to click over this drop down menu and you're going to pick vanishing point. Now, all you're going to do is depending on the width and height you chose for your document, just go to the center. Unfortunately, credit doesn't have any automatic centering that I could find. So you're just going to want to line it up as best you can with the ruler to get the ruler on your screen. You just go over here up top on the left to view. And then you're going to hit show rulers and then your rulers will come up and you'll be able to kind of center it. So my document is 2000 by 1500. So my half point is going to be 1000 by 750. So right about there, and line that up and then create the vanishing point. Once you've done that, you've already basically you're done with this part. But now what you're going to want to do to be able to draw on this with guides is you're going to want to head over to the right side again. Under two options, click the drop down again, but this time you're gonna hit parallel ruler. And now you're gonna draw some parallel lines. You're just gonna click for the first point, hold shift and drag for the second point. So you're gonna create a vertical line first. So you just drag down and click through the second point. Then you're gonna to wanna to create a horizontal point. So again, click, hold shift to keep the line straight and drag it out to the right or left and click again. Now you have two parallel line guides as well as your vanishing point guide now using these you'll be able to draw on this grid that you've just created so all you have to do is switch to your brush tool that's b for the shortcut or you just go over here on the left and click on the brush once you've done that you'll see when i move my mouse there's these guides that are hovering with it the cross of the horizontal and parallel guides we drawn here as well as the slanted line from the vanishing point so basically the way this works is whenever you draw in a direction it'll follow that guide so for example if i draw up and down also for this to work i forgot on the right side up here you have to click under tool options snap to assistance and that'll only appear when you switch to the brush tool so if you're still on the assistant tool it won't show up here so you want to make sure you're on the brush tool so press b uh then like i said if you draw up and down it's going to follow the up and down vertical guide that we've set you draw left to right it's going to follow the horizontal guide we've set over here and then if you draw along the slant that it shows wherever your cursor is that's going to draw along the perspective grid so that's basically how you'd create perspective lines with one vanishing point in Krita. If that helped you out, like the video. Thanks. Now we're going to move on to doing two vanishing points. So all we're going to do is create a new document. X out of this one. No. Create a new one again. Same thing. We're going to go with the same settings. This time I'm actually going to change 1600 just so the midpoint is easier. And then all we're going to do same thing as before assistant tool on the left create our vanishing points by selecting them from the drop down on the right and then what we're going to do for two vanishing points is because for these to basically meet you're going to want these to be off the page for it to be realistic so i'm going to create one on this side and then I'm move over and create one on the other side as well and now so i can show you guys once you move them so far apart, you'll see that this spacing is a little bit too wide at this point for us. If you want to help yourself visualize what you do over here on the right under tool options, and this is available when you use one vanishing point as well, you don't need to. This density slider, you can drag it down and that'll increase, well, decrease the spacing between all the lines for the vanishing point. So for example, if you want to set it to something like five or 10, you'll get a lot more lines in and we'll do the same thing for the other one. So you just click on the vanishing point you want to select and edit. 
So I'm going to click on the other one, make it the same thing. We're going to set it to 10. And now we're just going to do what we did before as well, add our parallel guide. So hover over the drop down, click on parallel ruler, and draw our straight line guides. So first the vertical, click, drag down, click, horizontal now, click, hold shift and drag to the right, click. Now, if we go to our brush tool, pressing B, you'll see that now instead of one slanted line following our cursor, we've got two slanted lines using both vanishing points. So now we'll do what we did before, draw along the straight line. And again, I forgot. Hover over on the right, guys. Again, snap to assistance. Make sure that's checked or else you're just going to be free drawing like this and it won't follow any of the lines. So make sure that's checked. Then you're going to want to just follow the lines. Draw left and right, up and down, following the vanishing points. Now I'm going to draw a box using this perspective grid with two vanishing points. If this video helped you out, like and subscribe for more content like it. Thanks. Just gonna draw a full on box. And there you can see what happens is sometimes the guides, the closer you go to the horizon line, the closer they're gonna be. So you're gonna wanna zoom in to make sure it grabs the right line. So that's what I'm gonna do here so I can finish drawing this box for you guys. Again, draw it along this line. You go up straight. Drag it over, go back to this line, and we're going to cut it off here. Yeah, so that's how you guys create a perspective grid in Krita.